Good morning, good morning, good morning. Huge warm welcome to the Carnation Craft Studios. We have got something ridiculously sweet this morning, Photogenic, the Crafters Select. It's gorgeous, lots of you have already been buying. I think a quarter of the stock has already gone. 25, are you saying? You said a quarter, a quarter. it's the same, it's the same. A uh, quarter has already gone, unsurprising. You're gonna need to grab it and grab it fast because it ain't gonna last. It's not on the deal of the day today, so don't go looking there for it. There is a QR code at the bottom of the screen there. That's the quickest route in. So just turn your camera on on your phone, hover it, that'll take you straight to the link. However, if you wanna go to the website, you will find a banner on the website that'll take you straight to it as well. You can also use the number 240401. That's the Photogenic Collection, show price 34.99, 2.95 UK P and P. Carnation have been wonderful humans and have agreed on this one to honor the um, discount code that comes in your newsletter. So if you do get the newsletter and it is always worth subscribing to it because you get a discount code for the website, now that discount code does not cover you for the last three months launches. So anything that's happened in the last three months, you don't tend to get covered with your newsletter. But Carnation have been super lovely with Photogenic and letting you use it today on this. So that'll get it down to you for £31.49. I'm not allowed to give you that code. You need to get it from your newsletter, but it is there. So please do go ahead and use it. That'll get you a couple of quid off your purchase. Do you want this? Yes, you do. Is it the cutest thing we've seen ever? Yes, it is. It's delightful. This is Superstar and Photo Booth, and this is going to be an absolute boon in your crafting. Two separate dies. Photo Booth itself is an actual photo booth. Now, this is just going to be useful. Forget the mice for a second, although they are massively important in this collection, but just stand alone. That photo booth is going to be a great card for so many occasions, especially things like weddings where they have those photo booths sitting there. What we have next to it is Superstar where we've got two mice, both of them very important, very important Mishkins, uh, one of whom is uh, uh, sort of there ready to take the photos, but there's also a microphone that he can be holding and one who's kind of very Marilyn Monroe-esque. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful pieces. And this is going to be obviously incredibly popular, it already has. It should be £39.98 if you bought them separately. So not only are Carnation giving you a discount today down to £34.99, thank you very much Carnation, they're also allowing you as a one-off to use your discount code from your newsletter. Very briefly on that score, if you, 30% already guys, 30% already run, run like the wind. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, you need to go onto the Carnation Crafts um, webpage, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. I think it's down at the bottom. There's a subscribe little bar. You just pop your email address in it. They're not gonna bombard you with stuff. Carnation don't do that. It's not their MO but they will send you a newsletter. And in that newsletter, every month, there is a discount code for the month ahead. And that's gonna give you 10% off the website bar the three months that we've just done. But they're letting you use it today. Yes, Miss Tistas. It also tells you about top deals. It also tells you about top and deals. And new product launches. And new product launches and all the good things that we need to know about. So please do subscribe. It'll just get you, it gets you money off. It, it, it's one newsletter and it gets you money off. They don't bombard you. That's not what Carnation do. It's not who they are. So just to let you know. Let's have a look at the boards for Photogenic and just see how absolutely delicious this is. So you've got your photo booth here. Now it comes with separate elements. So you've got your actual main photo booth that sits like this with a little stool inside it. The curtain is separate and we just want to take a minute to just look at the cut line detail because I'm going to talk about that as we go through demo. Um, so you have got this cut line detail going through that curtain which means we can do an awful lot with it. Then you've got your three photos that would come out of those of old fashioned photo booths. They still have them don't they but they come out now I think it's two and two rather than the ones that we would know from my youth where you used to get the strip. Do you remember those towers or was it always been two and two? Happen. What, where it's two and then, no, the ones you get now, it's in a block, isn't it? And you get two at the top and two at the bottom. Pick. Ours is just one long strip. Yeah, you can still get that in some bits. Can you? Bits, from what I've seen. I don't from what I've seen. venture into photo <laughs> Then you've got your photo sign, so you can place that on top of there. And you've also got your little added extra here, which is your selfie stick. 
So all of your pieces coming through together. So it depends what type of card that you're going to be making. It's adorable, but it's actually incredibly useful, isn't it? Because these, where you've got your strip with your photos on, you can actually put photos of your loved ones on there. So if you want to cut into them, if you print them out and you cut into them so they fit on those squares, you can do absolutely adorable things with this collection. Added to that, you've got the mice here as well, and they're just lovely. They're so sweet. We've got the old fashioned camera, which just that little flat bit. It's not old. I'm not old, which just sits over his face and he's taking the photos or he can be holding a microphone and he's having a whale of a time and he's the star of the show. Who's the superstar? We've then got your camera here, which is more, more modern. It's more your DSLR, which is lovely as well to have all your, and isn't she a delight? If you're gonna add mice to your collection, she's so pretty, she's so lovely, and she's so ready to have her photograph taken. Now, other things have been taken into consideration with this, and we'll see it as we go through the demos. The shape of her mouth here, which is slightly opened, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, just a slight opening there with her little lipstick on, and his, if you just cut away the hand, they can be kissing. So if you remember, again, those old fashioned photo booths where we would have the four photos that come out, they were all different, weren't they? Weren't certainly when I was a kid. And so all four of those, we can change each time we use that strip photo, we can change those through. So they're adorable. They're so sweet and so lovely. It's very evocative and something that's got huge craftability, which we need. And I say this all the time with Carnation, the one thing they provide us with all the time are the tools in order to help us improve what we make and expand the horizons of what we can produce. That is just epic. I love this camera, I think it's gorgeous. Let us know what you guys think at home. It's just beyond sweet. So that's photogenic. Just to remind you, the Carnation Crafts website is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. That's always typed down at the bottom of your screen there, so you can always find it if you don't hear me say it in time. There is a QR code at the bottom. <clears throat> take, just scan that, that will take you straight to the product. And that means you can shop instantly. I know lots of people have started to use QR codes more and more often. It's become something that we rely on. And you've got a combined price here of 39.98 if you buy the two separately. Why would you when Carnation not only have given you a discount today down to 34.99 with a 2.95 UK PMP, but they're allowing you to use your newsletter discount code, which is super awesome. Thank you very much. It means we get a little bit of extra off as well, but it's also just a nudge to those of you who haven't signed up to the newsletter, just to remind you, the value of it is always there. So big thanks to Carnation for helping us all out. It makes all of the difference. Let's have a look at some of these finished. I'm in love with this collection. The camera loves you and so do I. How sweet is that from Janine? She just knows what she's doing. Look how cute that is. There they are taking selfies. They're very busy. Those mice are adorable. Now you don't see the photo booth in this and I think this is where we start talking again about how versatile Carnation's dyes are. So you don't need to do the photo booth if you don't want to, you can strain it back into something else. Obviously the mice can be used independently, they don't have to be with the camera if you don't want them to. So every time we expand what we can do with them, which I love, love, love. Look at her, she's so pretty with her photo taken. Isn't that gorgeous? Stay focused. She is a model. Just delightful. I tell you what collection this will go in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let my brain work. Miss Taz, Miss Taz, Miss Taz. There's a stage. The card base is a stage. Oh. There's, there's lights. I can picture it. It's got the wooden elements. Yeah, Somebody help me out. Ago, was it, it wasn't too long ago. Going wild? Is it going wild? That sounds about right. right. Yeah, it would be brilliant with that because he was a little superstar, wasn't he? So yeah. all of these elements will come together. You mean with the microphone and the mouse? Yes, it was it. A, no, was it a mouse or was it a badger? No, uh, a beaver. Oh, I might not have the right thing then. No, I think you know, I've going wild and it had berries. Oh, 
Anyway, regardless of, here's another finished sample from Janine using that teardrop and sweep. Gorgeous nested dies. Always look for your nested dies, especially when Carnation have been generous with their newsletter code, although that will only work for Photogenic for the last three months. So check your teardrop and sweep uh, for how long ago it came out. But it's a beautiful set of nested there. You've got the photo booth sitting here. The little slot that that photo comes from, that <laughs> she'll love the fact that you've got her little feet. 33% is already gone. Is that a third? Third. Um, and then he's obviously holding the photos and she's looking all, she's looking very, um, she's blushing at the photos of herself. Isn't it beautiful? Focus on the good things. And here he is. I love this. Are you ready? This is where it just becomes ridiculously sweet. Let me just put that one down. Pretty as a picture. Let me come in at this side. What is he looking at? Isn't that just so cute? I love this collection. It's beyond sweet. It's so unusual and so lovely to have something that's just a little bit different. All of these cards have been made by the gorgeous Janine, whose talent is beyond. But look at them kissing. It's so sweet. Isn't it gorgeous, Miss Taz, this whole collection? And we've got... You are beautiful. Love that backing paper for that card. i got to say, those teardrop and sweep nested dies, ever since they came out, I've been in love. I love the edge on them. They're so pretty. Love that collection. Then we've got... <laughs> Fairy Art Deco. So it works in so many different ways, doesn't it? And I think that's the point. It's versatile. We talk about versatility a lot and it's important to have in our crafting something we depend on very much. And that's why so many of us come back to Carnation again and again and again, because they always provide us with dyes that are incredibly versatile. So you'll see as I'm going through these finished, color, uh, finished samples from Janine, we're using various different um, pieces from different collections. So uh, that shows off Carnation's unique ability to be able to mix and match. It's just really stunning. And I love how she is coming out of her door, superstar, and she's absolutely being followed by the paparazzi, just beyond cute. So that is your finished samples. We will look at those again before the end of the show. So you've had a really good look for all your inspiration. Remember, you can pause if you're on YouTube uh, to have a look at those. You'll also find them on the Carnation Crafters Group on, on Facebook so that you can gauge all the inspiration that you need going forward. Anything that the DT team make, specifically the DT team make, you are allowed to copy for inspiration. Anything you see me do, absolutely, you can copy as well. It just allows you and sometimes um, that kind of foothold if you're just starting out. So let's have a look. Yes, Mr. Taz. Um, sorry, I just have to turn my mic on. Can we just say hello to people who have two peeps? We can. Hello, lovely people. So over on Facebook, we've got Tracy who's saying good morning. We've got Ruth who says um, buzzing with the ideas for this I set. I know. B saying good morning. She's ordered hers. Yvonne saying morning. Karen saying morning. Diane is. Suzanne Page is. We've Thank also you for your got Alison who loves the mouse. Linda same morning. Pam Simpson same hey, morning. Hey Pam, how you doing, lovely? Then we've got Shirley who's saying morning. A big thank you or big shout out to Kirsty who helped her out with an issue last week. Thank you, Kirsty. Kirsty's a legend. She is a legend. We've got Sharon who's saying good morning. I'm loving this set. Cute. Oh, it keeps skipping. We've got Rachel who's saying good morning. We've got Joe who's saying good morning. And then over on YouTube. We've got Denise who's saying, this is so different. We've got Linda saying good morning. Mandy's saying good morning. She's ready to watch your demonstrations. And we've also got Donna in Australia who's saying good morning. Hey, Donna, how are you doing? Yeah, I think um, I think as crafters, it's important that we find things that are unique. Um, and, you know, often we find ideas reimagined a lot in the craft industry. So when we find... Um, sort of somebody like Carnation who think outside that box that just expands what we can do doesn't it so to have something like this is just really sweet yes Mr Stas and also just in case anyone was wondering the sentiments that Janine has used yes are already included in the vignettes in the, the downloads download. sorry I should have mentioned that yes you get those it's a digital stamp 
so you can use any die that you've got in your collection from your nested dies and you can fit those over those digital stamps to use them and they're all bespoke to this collection so please do download those just to let you know if you're brand new to carnation you've just started watching and you're like what is this and i need those mice uh, you need to go to get your artwork, which is free from the Carnation Crafts website, www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. Head over to downloads and to free downloads. We like the word free. And Carnation will always try and put their newest things nearer to the top of the page for us whenever they can, which is really useful for us. There's everything you need for this collection. You can download the original color download. That's going to be the quickest one for you, which is the one on the end there. That's got everything in it. Add it to your basket and check out for free. My advice to those of you who haven't done so before is to create an account on the Carnation Crafts website. Again, they're not going to use your information for anything nefarious. It just allows the system to remember, ooh, 35%, run, run. Uh, it allows the system to remember what you've ordered previously so you don't have to keep going searching. Uh, if you lose it on your computer, you can just go straight back to your account. Right, I've cut the photo booth. Let me just get this off one second. There we go. Yes, Mr. Stas. Whilst you're just sticking those together, loads of people in the comments are all talking about how it reminds them uh, to be used within wedding stationery. Yes, absolutely. And Carol, uh, Carol sorry, is saying how this reminds her of a childhood because they used to use photo booths with their best friend. I know. Can you remember? We used to always go to Woolworths. It was always Woolies uh, in the day. We always used to go down to Woolies and get your photos taken and then get some pick and mix on the way out. It was always a thing. Right, let's just pop some of that perfect paper. Now, the great thing about this is your perfect paper will be seen behind the photo booth. So you're going to get that tone of colour coming through, which is really, really nice. By that, what I mean is where you've got the element sitting, you can still see it there. I'm going to cover it with the curtain, but you'll still get a show of it. So if you put something really dramatic, like one of your navy blue perfect papers behind it, you'll really get that pop of colour. It depends what you put behind it. It depends what sort of card you're using. So if you want to add some florals to this, for instance, you might use a backing paper that matches in with some of the florals you're using, such as a bright pink or something like that. So you'll get that really nice tone, tonal shift from it. So I've got my photo booth here. The first thing I'm going to do is just decorate up that photo booth with the word photos on it. And I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue for that. So I've got my everyday applicators here. Always really, really useful when you're using them on things like sentiments because we're using smaller surface areas. And so you can get into those areas with your little applicator stick. So we're just going to dot a little bit about, not much, just to make sure we've got that adhesion sitting there. I don't want it to splurge. And I've got a perfect little place to pop that just here. So I'm just going to centre that up as best I can. And that will sit. I love the fact we've got the option. Uh, because what Carnation could have done, obviously, is have photos on the vignette. It could have said it on the vignette. But that's going to limit us if we want to use this alternatively down the line. Um, and, and I like the fact that I've got those options. For once, that wasn't me. Just so you know, we can we can say it was Miss Tisdas. Now, you've got options here. I can put this flat or I can add some foam tape to it, which is what I'm going to do. That's just going to lift it a little bit and give some shadow play behind that bench just to give it a little bit of extra oomph. So I'm just going to use some of this here. Not too much, and I'm only using a three mil, so I'm not going in super high. I'm hoping I've got that over without putting my head too far onto the screen. And then just a little bit down here. I don't need much, and I only need it in areas where it's not going to impede what I'm doing. And a little bit across the top of that photo booth photogenic Miss Tizitas much like yourself 240401 for those of you who are trying to get hold of this because we are fast selling it's on the Carnation Crafts website www.carnationcrafts.co.uk show price of 34.99 you have also got a reduction because it should if you're buying them separately 39.98 and 
the little diamonds that our carnation are allowing you today to use your discount code on your newsletter. Right, let me just shunt that down. So I've got a little bit of lift. So there's a distance, you can see the distance through and it just gives it a little bit of a shadow, doesn't it? Now I've got my little photo strip here and what I've done is just cut one of them away. So I've got one photo strip there and I'm gonna cut the mouse in order to fit into that. So the little mouse that I've got here, in order to snip him so he's perfect, all I've done is taken him and I've got him exactly where I want him. So for this, I'm aware that I'm going to need to cut away his lugs. I'm gonna to need to cut away some certain parts of him to fit him exactly where he is. Now, the easiest way for you to do this that I've found that if you want to do it is to pin him in place. Now, I don't wanna glue the whole of him. I'm just gonna use a tiny dot of glue. I know I want it to be on his nose. So I'm just going to pop that onto his snodge, place him, where I want him to fit, so about there. Now the reason I'm not gluing him entirely is because there is a frame around this photo and I need to take that frame into consideration because otherwise he's going to overlap and it won't look uh, quite as it should. I need it to be snipped to the frame. So now that I've got him pinned, I can manipulate where I'm going and I can start to snip him. Now let me put my glasses on so I can see a little bit closer where I'm going with that. So. I'm gonna snip him straight down and then you can keep coming back and just snip in where is appropriate, but that should be about right. Hey up, let me just get rid of that bit. There we go. And now I can see where I'm going here. Just need a little snidge more. She says, and that's just gonna take that little bit over that frame just there. So now I've got him sitting, <laughs> it's just beyond sweet. Now I've got the little, how cute is this collection? Now, because I've got that, I can either raise that up and leave it exactly where it is. I can have this coming out upside down. So he's poking down the bottom. Uh, it's up to you obviously which way you go. I love the fact that I've got the crowning at the top, but just as a word as well, you can see just on the top there, there's those two lines. That gives us those snip lines, those pit points that allow us to cut this perfectly every time. I want it to sit upright, uh, so I'm just gonna pop it this way. And all I'm gonna do is use a small amount of glue on the back here just to make sure it adheres. Now, what could be very sweet and what you could do to for a recipient, if you were canny with it. Write a note on a thin strip of paper, concertina it up, glue part of the note to the back where you've used your foam tape, and then have the little word pull on here. And we have got something wonderful, wonderful world, wonderful life, wonderful life collection. I think has got a die that says pull. I think where, where you pull the card thing, there's something that says pull. Anyway, if you've got that, you could have that on the top and you can pull it and it will pull that concertina note out with it. And so the recipient has got a little bit extra when they pull it, if you want to make it an interactive card. So you do have those options as well. I'm just gonna place him down here and I've got to then obviously work out how to use the mouse himself. So on that score, let me find what I've done with my little bag of mice, which I had two seconds ago. Oh, Miss Tiz Taz, I may have lost my bag of mice. Let me take one of these. Yes, Miss Tiz Taz. Just while you're looking for your things, mice. There's, a, there's a comment that's made me chuckle. So Linda over on YouTube, he said there's only, she said there's only one problem with the glue applicators. They're so good, my husband pinches them. I know, right? It's frustrating. But the great thing about the glue applicators is they last and last and last because you can re, oh, look. You can reuse them again and again and again. Right, so I've got my little chap here and I'm just gonna place him on the seat. So this is where he's having his photo taken. So we're kind of making sense of the fact that this is now coming down here. So he's actually obviously having his photo taken and then from that, the little photo is being produced. So let me just grab a little replica of this. One second, there you go. Right, so let's get him glued down. I'm just gonna poke his tail behind and 
pop them on that bench, so tiny amounts, we don't need much. Place that in, get him stood so he's ready to go. And then, and then, because he's a naughty little mouse, he's very, very busy having photos of himself with his little microphone. We need to replicate that here. How utterly delicious is this collection? Of his little microphone in his little paw. Just lift that, there we go. And he's having the best time. So he's taken, <laughs> and then we've got the curtain. So what Nick's done here is got a cut line going all the way across the top rail of that curtain. So I can pull that down. That gives me options. It means I can either glue the whole thing down if I don't want that to be moved, which means I could just give the illusion of him so I can see his little legs and we can see what's going on behind, or I can allow it to open. So you could poke behind and see, which is what we're gonna do. Uh, just because it's super cute. So little bits of glue across there. That one I'm going to adhere reasonably well. Line it up just underneath so you can still see that bar where the curtain flows and pop that there. And then you've got the illusion element. Just let me make sure that's straight. The illusion element where that will lift. <laughs> I love this collection. I'm smitten with this collection. It's beyond cute. It's photogenic and it's from Carnation Crafts. It's selling super fast. So you are going to have to move fairly quickly with it. Let's have a look at that curtain. So this is 240401, the photogenic collection. Show price of 34.99. If you buy them separately, it'll be 39.98. So it's probably a better value to get both together. 295 UK PMP. Feel free to use the QR code that's at the bottom of the screen to take you directly to the link for this product. If you want to do it manually, please go to carnationcrafts.co.uk and you'll find all the information you need there on both. It's on the uh, main banners. You can search it by number 240401 or you can type in photogenic collection. Any of those ways will take you to this and you'll be able to go through. The quickest way is the QR code. But just one more look at him. Look, he's so fancy. Absolutely gorgeous collection. This is photogenic from Carnation Crafts. Right, please do remember as well to use your discount code. Yes, Mr. Stas. I've just turned my mic on. Um, someone had the really good idea. So obviously within the collection, the photos is a separate die. Someone said there could be a theatre ticket office or like, you know, Oh, film. that's nice, yeah, absolutely. And you could, because the cut lines are in there, could you perforate it? I've got my glasses on. I think you could possibly use it as a tear mechanism because it'll have pith lines, won't it? Lots of ways to use this. I love, I love, love, love this collection. So having a look at Janine's here where we've got the idea of the paparazzi. I'm going to kind of use Janine's idea. I'm not going to copy the card, but I am going to use Janine's idea. So I'm going to take inspiration from what she's produced um, and I'm going to do the idea of paparazzi following. So we're going to sort of uh, conjure that up. Now, the reason I've done that is to show you different ways of producing an idea with the same dies, because obviously not every card has to be the same. So if you look at one of Janine's and you go, I really love the idea of doing that and then try and work out ways of doing it. So that's what I did and had a look at it. And that's what we're going to kind of have a look at with the next card that I'm going to demo. So taking out my bits and bats. Yes, Mr. Tistas. Loads of people are already saying that they've received emails saying it's been dispatched. We like them apples. Have you downloaded your vignettes yet? That's the question, guys at home. Have you downloaded your vignettes? And are they just not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Right. I'm doing this on a card base that is with my trusty, trusty glass mat. Six inches by eight inches. 40%'s already gone, guys. It's gonna go. I'm just going to remove that. Shuffle, place down, push across. That's my card base, taken care of. 
and then we can start with our mats and layers. Now I'm going to be working with this in landscape, not in portrait, but I can't stick my mats and layers down that way because my brain doesn't work that way. So I'll do it this way first. Create those tabs. Slip and slide into place. Next layer. And pop that on top. Okie doke. Nice base, nice gentle card base, some very sort of soothing, soft, neutral tones there coming through from the perfect papers that are always so important. Now, where I've got my photo slide here, and we've seen it already in use where you can put the little photos on, which I think is beyond sweet. How else can we use them? What else can they give us in terms of how we build and what we do? And it's what Carnation do so well, right? We know this, so we know there's always one more. I know this is, we had this debate in the green room yesterday. Terrible, terrible saying there's more than one way to skin a cat. Awful saying, but it actually doesn't mean what it sounds. Uh, and, but it's true with these. So I'm just going to place that down, so ground it out. Actually, I'll move it slightly that way. Get my brain to function in a way that works. Let's corner that up with this block this way, just overlapping that point. So I've just got that little visual pop of gold just there. So I've created a corner L, uh, so I've got some elements to work with, which is what I'm looking for. But now what I want to create is a red carpet for my model to be walking down. So just trimming up that curtain from the photo booth, I've now created my red carpet because she's a very, very important mice, mouse, Mishka. And let's get that red carpet seated down, ready for her to do her walk. I'll just ground it out to that photo so it sits sort of smoothly there as if it's just overlaying, just overlapping, okay? So we're creating the stage, we're creating the story. She's gonna be walking down there having the best time of her life. Now I need a photographer, obviously, to be taking her photograph because she's very important, Miss Taz. So let's get this little mace, a little bit of adhesive on his tummy. I'm going to place him just there. And then get his camera. And let's just place that, ground it out, and it just needs to sort of go over his head where he's ready to take that photo. Just about there is fine. He's guiding her and telling her what she needs to be doing. She is doing all of the posing that needs to be done, so I'm just going to rock her just to give her a bit of umph. And I'm going to fill her with some silicon gel glue. She's going to protrude. She's the star of my show. So she's <laughs> very coy, doing her runway. And then let's get the paparazzi in. So first mouse, I'm putting tiny amounts of glue and I'm not gonna put any pressure on this because I might need to move him. But let's get them so they're crowded on top of here. And they're all trying to take her photo, trying to be the most important mouse to take in the superstar of the show. So we're just gonna crowd those in. And then I did have some little cameras, but they appear to have flown. So let's get some from here. So I've got my elements. So let's get some cameras and some microphones in here. <laughs> so we'll just do some cameras. Focused at her, you can always put them facing down towards her. Press conference, ahoy. Little 
microphone up here somewhere. We're just given the illusion of busy. It's busy. They're all trying to take her photo. So we're just adding in those elements. Let's get another camera for this chap. So they're all facing and one more microphone to give it that really busy feel. Just in here. So they're all lined up ready for her. And then very simply, let's just add in a couple of floral elements here at the side. just to make it super pretty. And let's get some gel glue on there and on here and then a little bit there. And let's raise that up, get some decoupage in. So you've got that lovely flow. <laughs> really cute. I love photogenic. It's beyond sweet. Who's that for? Whose birthday is it? Whose anniversary is it? Who's graduating? Whose 18th is it? Whose 21st is it? Or what friend have you got that just maybe had a glow up recently and you want to say that you've noticed their glow up? Because it's all there for you and it's so, so sweet. This card has got so many connotations to it. This collection has got so many connotations to it. The way you're going to be able to use it is just ridiculously sweet. It's 240401, the photogenic collection, show price $34.99. Buy them separately, $39.98. You are better getting it as a bundle. Always, always find your value with Carnation. It's always in the bundle. $2.95 UK PMP. And you've got a QR code there at the bottom that you can scan in, takes you straight to the item, which saves you all the hassle. And you can get your free downloads from the Carnation Crafts website. Just to remind you where to get those from, you go to www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. And from there, you'll find your banner menu there that's got downloads and then free downloads. Clicking on that takes you to all of Carnation's recent downloads. So you'll see various different pieces there from different things that they've recently bought. At the top, you've got the photogenic collection. There's three options there. One is for the die with the mice. One is for the die with the photo booth. And the other is for all of it together. That will include your sentiment stamps, your digital sentiment stamps, um, where you can get lots of appropriate little phrases for your mice. That's free. Pop it in your basket, check out, print it out on ProPrint. My advice, do it on a 120 ProPrint and then you can see them all cutting out. For those of you just joining us, never joined us before, just to let you know what a vignette does look like, it looks exactly like this. I'll do it on the overhead for you. That's a vignette. A vignette is a fancy term for a piece of artwork that sits on a printed piece of paper. Nick, who is the creative director and his team of very creative artists have all sat and designed, painted, drawn, done all of the things and created dies for you. So this is all in-house, which is a lovely thing to have. They then produce that in digital format for us to download. That's what we get. It has a black line down the middle, which you fold on. So you're simply just going to fold it at that point as it goes across, spray glue the inside or use a prick stick, pop your die on top and pop it through your machine. And that's going to cut that out for you and give you your finished element. So for instance, my photo booth, why do we fold in the middle? What's the point of folding in the middle of it? Well, it means that I've got what's called a double sided vignette. So I can use that. You can see I'm now in reflection mode. So I've got it reflected here or I can turn it around and have it the same. That's unique to the craft industry. It's unique because it provides us with both and a left and a right so composition value just doubled and that my friends is an absolute boon and that's carnation to a t everything thought through uh, and it's why we would depend on them so much now when we were going through the boards and i'm hoping to go through the boards again just before we finish and through those finished samples but when we were going through the boards i said about noticing the cut marks in the curtains and why they'll be important so let's have a look at that because we can also do little things with those. So let's take that away, pull that down, shuffle. Uh, 
and then I'm just going to lay this here. There. Now, for this one, we are again using one of those very soft toned perfect papers. Don't forget to go through your perfect papers and have a look at which ones might be appropriate for where you're working and what you're doing. Another alternative to that is to go again onto the Carnation Crafts website and simply type in the search bar perfect papers and it'll bring you up lists of different perfect papers. You might find that you need a specific colour and you'll find a pack that matches what you're wanting. All of Carnation's hues kind of match. You can mix and merge a lot of them so you'll find one that's appropriate for the job in hand which is nice to know as well. Now again, I'm going to use the photo booth here. Now this time I'm going to lay it flat and I'm just going to sort of uh, wet glue this onto here. I'm not bothered about the shadow play right now because I'm actually going to be doing something more with the curtain than anything else just to show you how I can sort of play with that and how that will work. So that's where we're going with this one. I'm just looking at my elements, making sure I've got everything that I need. So I've got this here and I'm just going to lay it down. So small amounts of glue. Now, in case I need to lift this up and tuck anything behind, I will put a little bit actually at the bottom, but I'm not going to put anywhere near my doorway just in case I need to tuck. So I tend to try and think a little bit about ahead about where I may, may need to go. It's really important if you want to put something in the slot that you don't glue around the slot because obviously you're going to need those elements. So if you're using something like a tape pen uh, when you're doing these to just sort of quickly, swiftly do it, make sure you don't go near the elements that you're later going to need when you're doing your actual composition. So placing that in. and just push in so I can get that adhesion to take hold. Now the main point here, I will obviously build the full demo, but I want to talk to you about the curtain. It's got all these folds in it, which are really, really pretty and really lovely. But each one is a pit mark. Now I don't think you'll be able to see it on screen, but you can actually see through them. So if I take my pokey, I can just put that straight through. There's an actual gap there. So let's utilize that. So what I'm gonna do, let me just put my glasses on is just cut into this. So just go in all the way through on those elements and snipping in. Everything has snippability, which is a joy. Let me cut through all of those pips and I'm gonna do this across the whole of the curtain on every one of those major lines that I can see. Now what that's going to do is give me a visual of flowing fabric, but it's also going to allow me to manipulate it. So just let me grab this little one at the end. Just thither. Going through all those little pit marks to that end point. So I've basically just separated all of those elements. So I now kind of have fronds and that's going to allow me to manipulate because the fibers are now split in such a way and I've got smaller pieces, I can start to fold. Okay, so I can start to do different elements. So if I stick that down, I can now start to draw my curtain around. So if I want to, I can do different things with this, which I really, really like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my little mouse, my little female girl, and she's gonna stand on here. She's having her photo sorted. Now, one of the things that I want to establish is if, we we're just talking about mirrored vignettes. If I put glue on the side of her that I would normally consider the right side, I can still use the other side. So now she's looking at the camera. And that's the joy of carnation, isn't it? So there she is, she's looking, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing in as much as she's focusing in. Now I've got to then think about how I want her other little bits to be. I'm conscious of time, so I'm going as fast as I can, Miss Taz. So I'm just going to place on here, just to let you know why I'm doing this. We do have another show for you um, at 12 o'clock, Miss Taz? One, one o'clock, sorry guys. Um, and <laughs> 
my Taz panic. We've got a little uh, show for you then as well with a back to air, which is just truly wonderful with three incredible fr frames. Now I want to cut into her. Now I can just pin her. So I'm going to do her little face first. Snip. Mine might not be as neat as it should be because I am conscious of time for you guys. Uh, obviously, when you're at home, you're going to make sure she's absolutely squared up. I might just get away with moving her just to there. So that's going to be her little face. And then we're going to do her little legs. So again, square up. I think what I'm going to do here is just get rid of some of her tail to start off with. God, it feels awful, doesn't it? So get rid of some of her tail so she's there. And then I can pin her little legs down. Things you never should say, Miss Taz, in real life. Cut her tail off and pin her legs down. Pop that there. Just cut across. Up. Like I say, take your time when you're at home to make sure you've got it exact. I'm not too worried because it's not my main focus at this stage. But then I've got her little legs. And then what should we do for the other bit, Miss Tiztaz? Actually, i tell you what we'll do, which will be perfect. Let me find all my bits and bats over here. I might have run out of mice, Miss Taz. There he is. No. There he is. Now, you see how that's her? Now what we're going to do is have him, okay? And he, <laughs> he's just going to be here. He shouldn't be in the photo, but we're going to find out why. So we're just going to pop him at the bottom, right? Now, they're going to come out of the slot, obviously. So a little bit of glue on the bottom here. Because... He, being a pesky little mouse, got in the way of the photo. And the way he got in the way of the photo is, guys, we're nearly 50% here. It's 45 is already gone. You're going to have to, you're going to have to skedaddle. We're just going to place his curtain there. Here he is. Now, remember we cut into those curtains. Yep. I'm going to lift them. Raise them. Actually, we'll, yeah, we'll do it from this side. And I'm just going to fold over. So I've got the dimension of it because I've cut it, remember, so I can do that. And I'm going to take these edges, put a little bit of adhesion on them, roll it round, and I'm going to pin it just about there. My naughty little mouse is sneaking into that photo. Make sure they're all pinned down. Just roll out his body a little bit. Actually, let's silicon gel glue this bad boy. And give him some perspective up at the front. And just as she's having her photo taken, the pesky little mouse has pulled that curtain. So we... <laughs> We can see exactly what's happening. This is just probably like the most gorgeous collection ever released. Look, a story to tell with every card that we make. It just gets better and better and better and better. It is absolutely delightful, this collection. It is a photogenic by Carnation Crafts. You'll find it on their website, 240401. Show price of $34.99. It should be $39.98 when purchased separately. So please do get the bundle. $2.95 UK PNP. Please, please, please sign up to the Carnation Crash newsletter. You will not regret it. They are letting you for one day and one day only use your 10% discount code on this 
collection, which they don't do. They don't let you use it on the last three months. So the fact that they're letting you do it today is super generous and super kind. So huge thank you to Carnation for that. Um, and it just means that you get a little bit of extra discount there. It's going to take it down to 31... 49. 49. So just an extra couple of quid off for you, which is always nice just after Easter. Thank you very much. It's uh, it's always welcome. It's selling really fast. Now, because of that, I'm just going to very quickly show you the boards again, whip through a couple of samples, and then we'll let you go because we are back at 1 p.m. Let me just move my board so I don't get glue on the boards. There you go. Sorry about the mess around it. Let me clear it so you've got a clear vision. You've got the photo booth itself. You've seen us working with this in different ways. Your selfie stick, you've got the photos, you've got the photo booth, the curtain, all of which are going to be really, really important just in terms of general crafting, right? There's so many ways of using it. You've seen us use the photos in different ways. You guys at home have come up with different ideas already on how to use those as well. So super awesome for you to have and for you to play with in different ways so thank you for your ideas as well that's always lovely for everybody extra inspo then we've got your little mice here you've got the male you've got the female you've got the overhead camera you've got the dslr and you've got all your elements that go with it to make your superstars just absolutely shine out and that's what we're looking for you're looking for that story to be told we all know somebody who either could do with a you look amazing that kind of thing this is where this comes in and remember carnation have provided you with a sheet of digital stamps as well you'll get those free on the carnation crafts website when you download load your elements so before we go let's give a final cheer to miss janine who is an incredible powerhouse of talent who has created for us all of our dt samples for this show so let's have a look and give miss miss janine a round of applause for being a wonderful human so we have got this card here which is the one that we kind of rejigged the idea of doing the paparazzi which is super cute isn't it adds those elements remember to get bits from your other collections out they will make things uh, just go even further what is that noise like, it sounds you know, like a squeaky toy. It sounds like, you know, those robotic dog toys that you could get. I don't know what it is. I don't even want to know what it is. That's that's the bigger thing, Miss Taz. The camera loves you, and so do I. That could be an amazing Valentine's card or anniversary card, couldn't it? Isn't that so sweet? Really, really beautiful. I also think that would be a really lovely photo for sort of mum or dad to send to their daughter. There's something really nice about that. It's just very sort of um, personal, isn't it? That lovely personal touch. All the glitz and the glamour. She's very Marilyn, isn't she? Very Marilyn Monroe. And I love the fact that we've got all the Miri card there, which is just super, super pretty to have. What's the deco collection, Miss Taz? Can Golden you remember? Age. Golden Age. I was literally just thinking that because somebody asked about the pillars and I didn't know what finished sample they were referring to. It's that one. But it's it, whoever's listening, sorry, whoever was asking the question, it's the standing tall card shape. Standing tall card shape. on our website. From the Golden Age collection. The Golden Age collection, for those of you that don't know, is a very, very beautiful 1920s art deco selection, which is stunning to look at. So please do go look at the collection. It's a really, it was incredibly popular at the time, as always. It's a beautiful collection. So for those of you who like your art deco, it comes right in. These are your teardrop and sweet, sweet nested that we've talked about as well before, which are just so pretty. That's You Are Beautiful. Gorgeous backing paper there. Really simplistic card, but very pretty, isn't it? Really, really provocative. It says everything we want it to say. Uh, we've got <laughs> our little kissing mishkas here. And this is obviously your little pull out. Isn't that so sweet? I love, love, love this collection. I love the fact that that can come in as a separate element as well because it just makes it super personal, doesn't it? If you've got somebody who's just got married, what a way to send them a card, isn't it? Just something so cute. We've got this one here as well where you've got them just... What a great idea, I love it. Isn't it, del it's just adorable. And then let's have a final look at a couple more and then I will let you go. 
stay focused. That's what Miss Taz and I say to each other every day. And then one more final shout out. I'm just going to show you this one again because I love it so much. The camera loves you and so do I. We are well over halfway now. There's half the stock's gone. So for those of you who unfortunately don't get to see us until after tea time if you're at work today, I hope and uh, pray that you manage to get yours. I don't think it's going to last the day. I'll be totally straight with you. We've only been live for an hour, so uh, it may well have sold it out by that point. So good luck to you all. I can't wait for you to get hold of it because you'll have it very soon. Yes, Mr. Staz. So with the uh, Standing Tall collection, it was Jeanette who asked the question. Sorry, I just wanted to find the person specifically. Jeanette, there's your the Standing answer. Tall. You are good, Miss Taz. She's good, Miss Taz. Miss Tiz Taz. Thank you, Jeanette, for the question. Standing tall. Wherever we can answer those questions, we will always try and do so for you. It's been a real pleasure to have your company. We are back with more than words at 1 p.m., which is a back to wear collection. Don't miss it. There are some stunning frames and some really truly beautiful lovebirds in there as well. So you're going to see all that. There's also a little handbag element which creates gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. So please do join us at one o'clock. We'll be here with you then. We're going to go and have a cup of coffee uh, and we'll be back very soon. Take care. Bye.